walking inside today and it's kind of uh, it's kind of a crap day out. It's pretty rainy out. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock. It just started raining, so it's supposed to rain all day. But um, so Rich is redoing. He's going to be working on the AC wiring and doing some plugs in the V berth area. And I'm here to hand him some tools because I don't really do electrical. He rewired the port side a couple years ago. Um, put all new wiring in and some different plugs. Um, he put in this neat little uh, plug that's a, it's got the USB in it so you don't have to plug in your USB adapter. Um, that one's over here. Oh, that one is right there. So it's got those nifty little, it's kind of dark, but nifty little USB plugs. And then he's doing the ones in the V-Birth, which are up there. And this is the little monster who likes to be in the middle of everything. Huh. And then for the electrical panel, so that little nightmare of a mess right there is where the electric, electrical panel is going to be on this side. And then this is where it is under the stairs. And that is going to go away, so that'll be like a, just a blank panel or something else there. And everything's going to get moved over here. Alright, tell us what you're going to do today. I'm going to put another outlet up here like I did on Jenny's side. Uh, this is all AC. This is all, yeah, this is 110 volt wiring. And uh, I'm ripping out all the old stuff that is not marine grade, and it's also the wrong color for an AC system. Black, red, and white. I don't know why they did those colors, but the white was the ground wire. Uh, I think red was hot and black was neutral. It was really weird. Um, proper boat wiring color is for AC. Black, white, and green. Also notice the difference in the wire. The strands are very coarse. They're very, uh, you know, a large diameter and not, not very many of them. It still meets the gauge size. The gauge size is still the, uh, I guess, number 14 wire. This wire here is a lot finer strands, and uh, it's also each individual strand is tin copper. And uh, we replaced all the DC wiring on the boat already. The old DC wiring used to be black and white, and I guess they, whatever ABYC uh, standards for DC wiring are. Uh, yellow and uh, yellow is ground and red is hot so it can easily be confused when you got black and white wires for AC and also black and white wires for DC just if you're if you're cutting into anything it's nice to it's nice to have a an industry standard so you don't kill yourself so you're only doing the starboard side today I'm doing the starboard side today finally because I did the port side like two years ago <coughs> and split the circuits so our new panel has uh, two 110 volts, 15 amp circuits, and it also has a circuit for the water heater. And uh, I put GFI on that side, so everything downstream of the first outlet will be dead if the GFI trips at any one of these points, either in the head, Jenny's outlet here, uh, anywhere along this line, all the way back to the galley. And I'll do the same. I'm just working my way backwards from here there because I don't think I don't think I have enough wire left over. I used more wire than I thought I needed to on the port side. Alright. Back to work. Yep, so that's that. I'm checking to make sure that the power is off of this thing. Zero volt. Yeah, it's still off. <coughs> that's weird. So basically from here I'm trying to kill everything downstream. And hopefully... That's so you can do the V-Birth? That's so I can do the stuff up in the V-Birth and then hook everything back up tonight because I don't have enough wire to finish the whole boat. What are you waiting for? So this is the one that somebody put in. Is this the right wire? It's 
copper, but I don't think it's tinned. No, it's not tinned. It's automotive grade. So you found a voltage drop. There's a voltage drop somewhere on my side. With the old wiring. Yeah. 121. 121.7. Okay. Does it say 121? Mm-hmm. On this side, these are the lines that come in from the panel on my side of the boat. I'm guessing red's hot. I don't know why they, why, I don't know why they wired this boat all stupid. There you go. That's it. Where was it? There. 105.7 volts. So the input side, 121.6. The water heater, 121.6. Yeah, 765. Output side on the breakers. What do I got there? I can't see it. 121.6767667 So off here battery charger still 121 volts uh, I can't wait to get this panel out what a freaking mess shit's such a disaster This is the old wire. This is the old stuff. It's been. Did you just disconnect it, or it's been disconnected for a while? No, this is the. This was up here. It was on. Oh, okay. Until this morning. So now we're cutting holes. Which is going to cut the new hole over his bed for his new plug. It's going to get loud. Two. Cut. Action. You're doing something with the terminals? Yeah, I'm crimping the terminals on the ends of the wire. With my fancy new ratcheting wire crimper. I'm so glad you know how to do all this. You're welcome. I didn't say thank you. I just said I'm glad you know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't, we'd better... We wouldn't as, have bought this boat. We'd have better as hell bought a brand new boat. <laughs> this crimper's nice. Ratchet's closed. It holds its position until you make a complete crimp. And it won't open until the crimp is actually made complete, for the, depending on the size of wire you're using. And they're not very expensive. And it has interchangeable dies for crimping different types of crimps. And it's pretty bitchin'. I've got to support this up back behind here, and there's no room to get any freaking tools in here. So what's that? I can barely get Oh, my... it's a little mirror. It's a little mirror. I can barely get my hand in here. I've got the little zip tie. And it's a stainless screw, so it can't be magnetized. Uh, of course, 
to Going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just noticed where Suki decided to have a little nap. In my pants. <laughs> In your drawer that you pulled out. <laughs> so these are the these are the stuff that was in the closet that he's working in and she's making herself a little nest. Hey. Don't bother me. So we're doing day two of uh, electrical. I have no idea what's going on. That's not unusual. I'm sorry, so test this he's testing, looks like something, some circuit stuff. Okay. And this little thing's been such a big help today. So one of these is ground, and one of them is neutral, and one of them is hot. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, just figuring it out. Red, white, and black. Which is wrong, right? Well, yeah. <sighs> so you just told me that red, white, and black is wrong. It's supposed to be red, or white, black, and green. White, black, and green. Okay. So white we're, is we're, neutral, we're, black is hot, and green is ground. So are we taking that out? I'm taking it all out. And we're putting in... Yeah. The, the, this stuff. The old crap we took out, which is... Which really is... Bad black, white, yeah. and green. Yeah. Really all I'm doing is She's making, making coffee making right Making coffee. <laughs> That's my job. Yeah. Just make the damn coffee. Whatever. And we're both sick. Well, Rich is sick. I woke up with a sore throat. So, so it's my fault. It is his fault, number one. But number two, I also made a little home remedy uh, cough syrup that tastes, tastes pretty like good. Ass. No, it tastes pretty good. And, um... I'm gonna make some more tonight, but if it works, if I don't get sick, then I'll share the recipe. But if I get sick, then I probably won't. Yeah, you see, so you say that, and then you keep drinking it. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Okay, now what's the dilemma here? All the mass wiring that comes down goes through a conduit that goes back all the way back under here. And I don't want to mess with the conduit. I want to get the conduit out of there. You don't want to mess with it, but you want to get it out. Well, I don't like I don't like shit wrapped up in a conduit because you can't see what's inside. So I the dilemma see... is, you want do you want to pull it out today, or you want to do it on another day? Yeah, I'm going to pull the conduit out so that I got a bunch of naked but, wires so that I can okay. see. But now or later. Whites and yellows and blacks and greens and blues and reds and Well, I'm and... all, I'm, if my vote counts, I'm for doing it now because we've got two days okay. to do stuff. It's up to you, though. Make me some coffee. What do you got there? I have, have a Brady uh, Super Duper. It's a BMP 21 Plus label maker, and it makes really nice labels. So what are you making a label for? I'm trying to label the all the wires coming off the mast. I took a picture of them, and it's a piece of blue tape. Okay. <laughs> that somebody wrote strobe. Uh, God, I don't know, anchor, spreader, common. Yeah. So anyway, I gotta make labels for those because I pull them all out of the conduit and then feed them all back where they go. And just to recap from what we did last time, so let me turn the light on. This is the new plug that Rich put in. So it's got all new wiring and it's nice and pretty. <laughs> and then we've got one more up here. Turn the light on. And I'll show you. This other one. So this is the other one. Um, oh, and this one too. He did one up there. So that one. This one was here already, I think. Um, and this all goes through, goes through the closet. Probably can't even see. Um, runs through the lockers all the way forward. Then to this one that I just showed you. And then 
then all the way forward. And now he's working under there.